Hi, my name is Victor Kaiser. I'm the program director for Maryville's Exercise Science Program. And I'm Jake Fitz, the Human Performance Lab Coordinator. And we just wanted to take a moment to give you a tour of our lab. Maryville's Human Performance Lab is very unique in the undergraduate marketplace. As you can see when we walk around this room, we have a lot of technology and toys to give you practical experience with. The reason we find this so important is we do not want you to finish your schooling and not understand how to practically accomplish the tasks that are assigned to you within the profession. So come with us, follow along as we show you these toys. So when testing a client or athlete, we will start with body composition. One of the most common ways to get body composition is with skin fold calipers, which I'm holding in my hand. And this is done through, there's three, five, seven site skin folds that are very commonly taught and used. Um, this is done by taking a pinch of the site and you separate the skin and fat tissue from the muscle tissue. We also have more complex ways of testing body, body composition that can also be more accurate. We have the Sika right here, which is a bioelectrical impedance machine. Um, this is gonna take a small, basically electric frequency through your body to get the difference between muscle tissue, fat tissue, your water, your skeletal muscle tissue, and everything in the body. Um, it's also going to give a left and right difference between your arms and your legs. We'll use this information a lot of times with injured athletes to see their baseline numbers and how to get them back to their baseline numbers after an injury. Alright, the next thing I'm going to talk about is vertical jump testing. We use several different or pieces in here to test vertical jump. We have the Vertec, which is the standard way that you'll see the NFL Combine and others test the jump. It takes the difference between your reach and your jump height with that reach on there. Uh, we have an added piece down here, the Hawken Dynamic Force Plates, which are going to take a lot more information and give us a lot more with left-right variance on your jump. It gives us your landing force and a lot of other information and pieces that we can put together to really build a profile to help program for that athlete. Speed and agility testing is next. The cheapest, easiest way to do this is outdoors or indoors on a court with a stopwatch. The next up will be something like this. This is a dual beam laser timing system. We've got different ways that we can set this up, but essentially you sprint through it, run through it, and when you break two beams at the same time, it records the time. And we can use that time to figure out how fast you were going. Now, a new toy that we got in the lab is this LEDS Reacts radar-based speed and agility testing. Regardless of the type of tool that we're using, these devices give us an understanding of where an athlete is, potentially in time and space, or at least just time, to understand characteristics like acceleration, max velocity, and we can utilize these things to better program for our clients, patients, or athletes. So here at Maryville, students will learn different types and different elements to training. One that we will teach in a lot of our labs is called velocity-based training. We have two to three different elements that we'll use to show velocity-based training. One is this gym aware piece that's down here, and this is a tether system attached to the bar, so it's actually going to read the speed of the bar based on that tether being pulled out of there. The other piece that we use is the uh, perch system, which is a camera-based system. We're gonna look at a camera is going to film the movement of the bar to get the speed of the bar actually going through the bar path there. They're both very valuable tools and get very similar approaches to velocity-based training. The Watt Bike is another tool that we can use to collect vital data. This bike can be utilized for anaerobic power or aerobic testing. In an anaerobic power setting, you might see a 30 second wind gate perform. We do these plenty of times around here, but they're also utilized in larger activities or larger sports like the NHL Combine. This device in my hand is a VO2 Master. Instead of using a metabolic cart tied to a treadmill or a bike, this allows us to get metabolic testing done in a field-based setting. Here we can pair it with the bike, but we can also take this outside, go for a run, and understand your metabolic profile. In this lab, you'll get an opportunity to focus on a crawl, walk, run type of phase with any patients, clients, or athletes. What exactly does that mean? That means that during your early years, you're gonna work hand in hand with your peers to try to gain extra experience. As we progress through, you're gonna start to take more of a leading role. The people that we focus on within our Maryville community, other students, faculty and staff, and the very deep immersive relationship that we have with our athletics and rec. If you're interested in a career in exercise science, schedule a tour today and come by and see us.